Hey TV Nation, thanks for joining us for a very special live stream and today I will show you how to create a pop-up demo video on Click using Divi's exclusive software release landing page layout and this layout is available to lifetime members or those who take advantage of the 25% off Cyber Monday deal so this is the largest discount that you can get from Elegant Themes and it happens once a year so go ahead and click uh, on the link in the description below and grab this deal before it's gone and if you're already a lifetime member or if you've already upgraded or become a member make sure that you check one of the other links in the description below and find out how you can download this free layout and use it for any kind of purpose you want so without any further ado let's get to it All right, so let's take a look at the software release layout. So this is what you can expect from it. It's a stunning layout, a nice color palette, very modern, clean, and you can use this for multiple purposes. And it has a lot of mockups as well, which you can edit and use to create your own kind of website or page um, if you're creating a landing page with this layout. So what we're going to do within this use case, a live stream tutorial, is we're going to create a video pop-up on Click, and we already have a mechanism over here that allows us to do that. So if we click on this, we'll have a pop-up with a video shop, and you can modify um, everything according to your own needs so you can make sure that the video you want to show up shows up so you always have to link it to a youtube link though um but that's you know just an advantage and the same thing goes if you click on the watch the video copy over here and this looks great on all screen sizes so it looks great on desktop but it also looks great on mobile or tablets so let's get to it the first thing that you will need to do is download the video pop-up plugins so I've already downloaded over here but you can find it by going to plugins and adding a new one searching for video pop-up and then once you activate it it will show up over here and then you can find it over here as well so then go to the general settings and enable these two options over here so one will remove the white border and the other one will remove the background color in your sidebar over here and then save the changes All right, so I've already gone ahead and added the software release landing page to my Divi library, but feel free to do the same so you can find the link to the download page in the description again. So go ahead and download it and then upload it using the import and export tab over here. And once you have your layout over here, you can go ahead and add a new page. Hi everyone on YouTube, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I hope you guys will find this uh, video tutorial useful and thanks to everyone tuning in on Facebook as well. So I see there are quite some people um, here already. All right, so I'm just gonna give my page a title. And then publish it first. And then I'm going to enable the Divi Builder and switch over to Visual Builder right away. So if you want to follow everything step by step, um, you can do that by going to the blog post, which I've mentioned in the description below as well. And you can get the Cyber Monday 25% off deal there as well. So you can find a link to that as well. So go ahead and grab that deal. And then within your library over here, go to your saved layouts and upload the software release landing page. All right, so here we have this layout and we already have a play button over here. As you can see, we're just going to link it to a pop-up, but to do that, we'll need another module. So this is a blurb module. Let me open this really quick. It's uh, a blurb module and as you can see, there's an image being used over here. So we're going to recreate this design, but we'll use a text module instead. And the reason why we're doing this is because we'll need to link everything in the content box over here 
to um, a certain link that has the class CSS class of that particular plugin that we've installed. And that's why we're doing it this way. So the first thing you will need to add here is an image and you can do that by simply clicking on add media over here. And if you've uploaded this layout to your DV website, you will automatically find this play button over here and then you can just add it. All right. And right below it, add some copy as well. So we're literally creating the same kind of design, but just using another module for it. All right, so then we'll go to the text settings and we'll enable center text orientation. This is starting to look like the previous module over here, as you can notice. And then we'll go to the link text settings to uh, make the same kind of style apply to the copy here as well. So we're using cabin as the link font. And a bold link font weight. And we're also using a semi-transparent link text color, which will change on hover. And then we'll use 17 pixels for the text size and 1.6 for the link line height. And then we'll change the link text color on hover. It's just a subtle transition into one that has the full capacity. So you cannot see it right now because we haven't added any link to it yet. Uh, but that's what we'll do in the next part. So we're also going to add a bit of negative top margin. So these two are all overlapping, but after we're done uh, modifying, this, modifying this module, we'll get rid of the blurb module over there. It'll be a substitution. And now we're going to add the pop-up. So what you'll need to do is go back to the content box over here and go to the text editor. And over here, you will need to link the entire content box to a specific link that has a CSS class that's linked to um, the plugin. So this is what you need. You can find this in the blog post as well. So you can see this class over here and then you can enter your own URL over here as well. And then you'll simply need to close off these, these tags over here. So here we go. And as you can see, you can notice that the text has become a link. So the link text settings apply. Now the only thing left to do is remove the blurb module. And over here you can see that they're quite overlapping. So I'm just going to switch over to wireframe mode and I'm going to remove the blurb module over here and then switch back. All right, so now I can save my page. So you can make this apply to any kind of element on your page. I just think it's uh, necessary to know that you have to link it using the content box. So you have a content box and several elements, uh, one of them being the text module, which I think is the easiest since you can add media to it as well. Um, but once you do that, you can link anything on your website and you can use this kind of approach for any kind of website you're working on, not necessarily for the software release landing page only. And then I'm going to exit the visual builder so I can show you guys. And here we have the pop-up. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit to create another screen size for you guys to see that it's uh, responsive as well. So go ahead and try this out. It's, a, it's an easy way to create interaction with your visitors. Instead of having to embed uh, a video on your page itself, you can create this nice interaction with visitors and you can use like special um, images for it, such as this one, um, to elevate your design style. 
All right, that was it for this live stream video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you check the Cyber Monday 25% off deal if you haven't already. Uh, thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.